Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mabinogi. We're heading back to Doki Doki Island just so that we can turn in those potatoes. And after that we will um, go from there. To the beach I guess. Oh wow that starts way over here. Okay. I'm a bell fixer. It's an interesting name for your blanet, but sure. <coughs> Town Square, I guess, would have been a little closer, but not really. Anyway, like I said, literally the only reason that we're coming back here is so that I can turn in these potatoes. Um, oops. I forgot to actually pull them out of my pet because I realized, hey, wait a minute. I don't need to go all that way. I can just put them in my pet. Like after I went there and dropped off the freaking stuff. Um, I realized, wait a minute, I don't have to go all that way because I can just do this, you know? Uh, you are good on food, okay. Get rid of the rest of these giant potatoes. I don't need them. Where are my potatoes anyway? I mean, I had those ones. Oh, okay. Hey, I only need to give myself 20 on this character. Well, whatever. Here you go. Thanks for your hard work. We'll see you tomorrow. Right? Probably. And eventually we'll get this fruit one. Yay, cat's paw. So this gives us three of the cat's paw. And the cat's paw can actually be traded. Uh, to my like other characters so I should be able to deposit these onto nope okay I just I can't transfer them that through summon creatures I can only summon them through or I can only transfer them through the bank is what it is so let's go back to Aaron and there is something I would like to do this episode um, and that something is, I would like to head off to Tailteen, um, because there is something new there that wasn't there in the Gen 2 episodes I recorded. And it's kind of cool. Um, and it's pretty fun, actually. I, I don't know that I would say fun, but it's pretty cool. Is what it really is. It really is cool. Um, okay. Thank you for that, Mobby. I'm just glad I don't have to worry about inputting my password multiple times. <laughs> well, I do, but it's not a big deal. Let's see. With the magic of pausing and things, I can just, you know, pause the episode when I input the password and stuff, so. Kinda nice. And you don't get to, you guys don't get to see my password that way. <laughs> Magic can be dull if it's used every day. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. Something you need? Uh, yes, I would like to talk to you about spirit weapons somehow. Hmm don't actually know how to do that. Training may be hard, but it's worth every second of your time and effort. Once you complete the rigorous training, you'll find yourself able to use magic freely and at will. It's a good work, eh? <coughs> um, hmm. See another youngling like you. Reminds me of my granddaughter, Lena. From the birth, she suffered from chronic ailments. She eventually passed away at a very young age. Such a heartbreaking tragedy. I still miss her just as much every day. Okay, I need to look up 
Spirit Ascension, which is the new spirit weapon system. Give me just a moment to figure out what I need to do. All of my plans have been dashed. Apparently, you have to be level 500 uh, cumulative level in order to start it. Um, I'm only level 389. That's unfortunate. So, what I need to do is level up a little bit. That's not a problem. I mean, that's still a lot of levels <laughs> to go up. A hundred and freaking, like, what? 11 levels or so, something like that. It's a good bit of levels to go up, but it just means that we have to level, so. Um, that said, speaking of leveling, there are a number of quests that I have currently collected that we need to handle. Um, I've picked up things like uh, Rage Impact here, um, I think we had Stylish Attack. That's the Windmill. Uh, I've rebirthed into Ninja, so I'm ready to start that. I have rebirthed into uh, Martial Arts, so I'm ready to start that. Um, I'm actually ready to rebirth again right now, so let's go ahead and hit that up. Right now we're in close combat because I'm just doing some minor levels of that. So let's go, we'll get cumulative level 390 by level doing this. I wish that they would update this place with the new spirit stream though, I really do. You, you've seen the new spirit stream when we went and we were doing um, the, the bash skill. That's the new spirit stream, like that's where you normally... Um, like go now um i just wish that like like whenever the spirit stream comes into play soul stream excuse me S soul stream i knew that um i don't think any of these hairstyles were anything i liked right no they're not these are the like really old ugly hairstyles and out have the pawn to get a new hairstyle so there's that um so, let's go ahead and, um, do we want to do martial arts or ninja? Because those are the two quests we have. I mean, we can do either, like, we don't even have to go into either of these. Um, I just have the feeling that we'll be there. Um, that was not what I wanted. These are the starter talents. Martial arts, close combat, and chain slash. I mean, that is true, technically. Chain Slash is a good early level one. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend it because it requires you to do a really high level quest to get it. <coughs> but it's really good for, you know, a low level character to go through. Because, like, it's a really easy set of skills and things, so... Um, alright, so, now that we've rebirthed into, uh, martial arts, one of the things that we're going to need is a set of knuckles, which I thought I was carrying, but I guess I don't have. Nope. Hmm. Very peculiar. Very peculiar indeed. What is this weapon? Oh, that's the great sword that I got. Right! <laughs> that was that great sword the guy gave me in the last episode. That's funny. Totally forgot because, like, it's been a whole, like, 20 minutes since then. And I hardly remember things after just five minutes most of the time. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, let's see if, actually, uh, Leah might have some... No, she just has a set of shur- she just has a shuriken. So that's unfortunate. Um, although since they have her open, let's put our 
Fanatic Greatsword in here as we're not going to be using that for now. Um, alright, well, I thought I had a pair of knuckles already, but I guess not. So let's just go pick up a set then, I guess. For 50,000 gold, I think we can buy... I think we can buy some for that. Also, I need to select my title, which is Zanadu. Because none of the others, none of these other ones are really that great. So, go ahead and get my... You know, it, Zanadu is my um, guild's uh, title, in case you're wondering. Like, if you get in, get on, and you're like, how do I pick Zanadu? Where do I earn that from? That's from my guild. So, you can't actually earn that one. <laughs> um, Spike Knuckles, I think, are the best option, because they have the lowest amount of um, differential in your damage. So, 1,630. Sounds good to me. So, let's put these on. Yep, I hadn't even gotten this yet. No learned Knuckle Mastery skill. Awesome. So I literally just didn't even have them yet. Um, yeah, these are lower damage. Like these ones are more expensive, but everything about them is lower. I guess they have a higher crit chance. So, well, whatever. Anyway, what matters is, we now have our first fighter skill, Knuckle Mastery. Attack an enemy using Knuckles and defeat an enemy using Knuckles. So, let's see. Um, sure. We'll start here, I guess. I really need to organize my skills in the same order that they are on my main character. So that I stop confusing them. I just haven't done that yet. So. I don't even know what my knuckles are normally on my main characters. Bar. And now you'll see that I have an empty bar at the moment. And the reason for that is because I don't actually have any skills with the knuckles. Just the knuckle mastery skill. And the knuckle mastery skill just gives me the ability to use the knuckles. Right here will come. <laughs> that was all I needed, I guess. I just needed that. Uh, well, yeah, I suppose I can see that because it was a times two because I'm classed in it. There we go, fledgling fighter. Now it's going to take a lot more to actually level that up. But yeah, that was funny. Pop. Let's go kick the, uh, let's go beat up this gray wolf over here. Pop. And, I mean, this is just the start of it. The, uh, you know, knuckle mastery here. Um, we will get more skills. And the way we get those skills is actually through a quest line. I'm probably going to regret going after this bear, but let's see what happens. I was going to say, because I don't have any of the fighter skills themselves yet. Hey, that actually worked out really well. Also, I love this pose. I love the pose. I was actually surprised by how well I hand how well that worked out. So that was pretty cool. Couple of crits. Nice. We are getting it. We are really starting to understand how to beat the crap out of things with our fists. But you know, there's more to being a martial artist than just punching and kicking things. You know, there's all kinds of different uh, styles and, you know, positions and things like that. And maybe, just maybe, we should consider going to learn some of them. <clears throat> Pop. I just love 
like, I actually love using these skills. They're just kind of difficult to get the combos and things off. So, but anyway, so, you know, we're, we're, we're strong. We can beat things up pretty well, you know. And we can always fall back on our sword if we need. Let's go find out, though, what is going on in Blago Prairie. Blago Prairie is crawling with bandits. If only someone would take care of them. Talk to Meru the Merchant in Emain Macha. Alright, so something I keep forgetting is that I am still low level on this character, so I can use this book. Let's head over to the western gate of Emain Macha. Actually, probably should have done the northern gate. I think the... Um... Come on, let me use the thing, thank you. I think the uh, people are up here somewhere. Yep, much closer. Coming here is much closer. I'm gonna beat everybody up with my fists. Now I think Knuckle Mastery is a CP skill. So like, as I level, it's going to require me to go after higher and higher leveled enemies. Um, I think that's why I haven't built it up on my main character much. And Mary jumps up and looks at you closely. You're that malicious Serene, right? Yes. Really? You really are Serene. Hmm, you don't look that strong. With a tilt of the head, Mary watches you suspiciously. I suppose I shouldn't judge a brick by its cover. People tend to underestimate me, too. Well, to the point. There have been too many bandits at Blago Prairie lately. It's a complete mess. Totally out of hand. But you... Whoops. Okay. I think there's supposed to be something here in Korean, but it's not. So it got bugged out. But you, you're a Malaysian. I bet you could make quick work of them. If you go to Blago Prairie and mop them up, I'll make sure you're well paid. Just be careful around their leader, Herbert. I hear he's a cut above the rest. When you're ready to go, let me know. I'll take you right to them. If you're not ready, I can't. I can wait just a little longer. Go now. Well then, let's go. Follow close now to Blago Prairie. So I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to my sword because I know that this is actually really, really difficult if I don't. Like, I don't know how you're meant to do this with the fighting fighter skills when you have none of them yet. <laughs> So, but here's my two, here's two of my favorite characters, Yasolte and Cecilia, or Cecilia. I totally said that wrong. Cecilia and Yasolte. I'm scared. Is she, are you sure we can make it all the way to Terra? Don't worry, not even the bandits will be out, the, out in this cold. Solte rubs Cecilia's back to console her. But I heard a rumor in town. Say the bandit boss, Herbert, loves Barry Granola. Whenever he comes across a trader with a shipment of it, he gobbles up all the granola in one gulp. Then he eats the trader for dessert. Oh, Fraser's just having, just having you on. Again. Bandit show up, we'll just turn the wagon around and go back home. <laughs> Who are you? I smell granola. Bandit boss hoists his hammer overhead as he walks towards Cecilia and Yasolte. Drool drips from his mouth. Someone help us! <coughs> so here's the bandits. And these guys are a freaking pain to beat. There's the uh, the bandit boss. That's not Herbert himself, but it is a bandit boss, so. Let's see, let's see how I can do with these. Since I don't have the lag I used to have. I'm also stronger than I used to be. That's not too bad, actually. I used to be much, much weaker when I did this the first time. Um, I also used to have a lot of lag, so it was practically impossible to even fight with normal combat on Mabinogi. Some of you might be familiar with that from when I was doing Gen 1. Pop. I also should remember that in this, even with these weapons, I can still use my counterattack and my windmill. Like, that's probably a good idea. Don't move! 
How did you get smash off faster than my normal attack? I'm very confused. Boom! Alright. And you don't actually have to worry about Cecilia or your Solte's health at all. Um, they basically can't take any damage. Like, they have ridiculous amounts of health and can only take like one damage at a time. It's just your own health you have to worry about, really. So there's, that's a thing. Pop. Actually, yeah, I'm doing a lot better on this than before. So that's cool. Kinda like that. Kinda like the fact that I actually have some level of strength. I don't know if it's that I have a some level of strength or if it's the fact that like I don't have as much ridiculous lag as I used to so I'm actually able to like play this normally I'm not sure which it actually is charge toll fee boom windmill god dang it I hate getting I hate getting that counter-attack with Windmill off. It's not easy. Even with like a normal weapon, counter-attacking with Windmill is not easy to do. Unfortunately, counter-attacking with Windmill is required for leveling it. So there's that. Windmill, Assault Slash. Counter-attack with Windmill. Why is there not a target nearby to use that on? That doesn't make any sense. God dang it, I'm trying to get that counter-attack with Windmill. That didn't count as a counter-attack, unfortunately, because he wasn't attacking me. Like, counter-attack with Windmill is required for leveling Windmill. And Windmill is a really good skill to level. Why is there not a target to use that on? Doesn't even make any sense. He's right in front of my face. I can literally see him. What is your problem, game? Like, if he can hit me, I should be able to hit him with windmill. It's just the way it is. Hey, leveled up though. Boom. Nope, Knuckle Mastery can be upgraded. Let me just do that real fast. <laughs> Max melee damage up and my balance went up. Good. So if you don't know what balance is, balance is, from what I've understood, it's basically your ability to avoid, like, knockback and stuff like that. Um, if your balance is high enough, you can actually, like, just not get knocked back by an attack, basically take no damage, that kind of thing, from an attack. And it's really nice when you can do that. That was still not a counter-attack for the windmill. That was not even windmill. See, like, I don't understand how to counter-attack with windmill. Like, that was literally, like, I had windmill primed, it should have gone off before he even hit me. And freaking nah. Not at all. <laughs> trying to just counterattack in general. You cats need to learn to get along. Like seriously. Boom! Got him. Successfully hunted bandit boss ogre. Got it. Thank you for your help. Cecilia, uh, Cecilia stumbles to her knees trembling. We could have taken them ourselves. Yasolte wrings water out of her hair. It's raining. You hurt my underlings. I will have my revenge. And your granola. There's, a, there's Herbert. 
Get out of here, you little monster. Solte starts throwing whatever she can at Herbert. Ah. Solte pelts a man in a rugged outfit with a box of granola. <laughs> hmm? He plucks a stray granola from his hair and eats it. The Keane, what are you eating? Blonde girl with glasses picks the granola out of Keane's hair and clothes. The bandits are stirring. Why don't we practice against real enemies for once? Thanks, do. But now you get uh, Mina and Kiana on your team here. And they are ridiculously OP. Or at least Kiana is, anyway. Boom! That was nice. I have to remember that that's a good skill to have on my... <laughs> that guy's already dead. <laughs> See that? Look at that! Oh my god, I love that skill. It's one of my favorite skills to use. I mean, again, you can see, this is the only freaking skill I have right now. It's just this one ability, you know? See? Still nothing new. Look at Cecilia over here getting the crap beaten out of her. Boom! Windmill! To use that up. Oh, that's thump. Ow, I saw that coming. That's a giant specific ability, is that stomp. Also, I don't know that you can actually beat Herbert. I think he's too strong. So, I'm gonna go see about his other underlings, and then we'll come back to him when we've actually knocked him down, knocked everybody else down. Cause at least this I can like beat him up, you know. See Cecilia just came running over here out of nowhere. Oh, I think she got knocked over here by Hubert. See, this is the problem. There's a lot of desync between my computer and the server. I think that's why it's like he's not anywhere nearby for you to use that on. It's, even though it's like uh, he's right there server sees me in two different spots that I'm act like server, server sees me in an area I'm not meanwhile my client sees me as being right there you know now I guess we can beat up Herbert here all right man I wish I could have gotten this kind of like, I wish I could have done this well the last time I did these quests, because, oh my god, this is so much better. <laughs> like, this is actually, now that I'm getting to a chance to do this at, like, what it's meant to feel like, or close to it anyway, like, this actually feels like it was designed for you to use your fighter skills here. Which it probably was, but I've never had the ability to do that. Because I've had way too much lag and stuff before. It does kind of suck that I don't have any skills. Aside from, you know, the one. But also, if I could get Herbert over there, that would be great. But it's just not going to happen. Like, then I could get Kiana and such to fight. But unfortunately freaking Cecilia over here keeps dragging this guy further and further away from the main fight and that's not beneficial to me boom boom yeah get over there trying to just punt him away you know see that's a counter attack with windmill right there trying to get him over here with the others with Yasolte and such. That way Kiana and Yasolte and Mina can join into this fight. Because otherwise it's just me and Cecilia here. Which admittedly she's dealing some damage but... Hey you see he wasn't even knocked down. <laughs> but the server saw it as knocked down even though my client was bugging out and not seeing it. There you go. Now Yasolte is helping out because I finally knocked him over here. So now Kiana should join in pretty soon. There he is. Then watch him just wreck shop. 
<coughs> if they would stop knocking him away from Kiana anyway. <coughs> we failed. Freaking Kiana tried to use a skill on him but freaking missed because I knocked him out of his way. <coughs> that was funny. Do it. You guys got this. I knocked him down a bunch. Hey, they did it actually. That's the hunted horrifying Herbert. How about that? <coughs> Arg! Argument, you'll pay! You guys were actually pretty helpful. I like that militant over there. Yes, all day, strangers. Thank you. I was so scared. Cecilia's legs give up. She collapses into the mud. Kiana spots Cecilia crying and starts bawling himself. Stop crying, Kiana. Stop. It's okay. Mina's here. You're okay. Mina hugs Kiana and gently pats his back. Kiana is the strongest fighter in all of Uled, but he's sensitive. The sight of others crying pains him deeply. So would you please cut it out? You're hurting Kiana's feelings. This is all your fault. If you stayed out of commerce like good little girls, this wouldn't have happened. What? Celia fiercely looks at Mina through her tears. Humph. Those thanks are necessary. I only saved your lives, after all. Let's go, Kiana. As Mina drags him away, Kiana looks back at Cecilia and Yasolte with wide eyes. Hey, we got some levels off that. Level 16. I hear you took care of the bandits at Blogger Prairie. I should settle things down for a while. Thank you. So aside some 10,000 ducats for your reward. I hear you helped out some other traders too. Well done. Mira takes a large sack of ducats from his tent. Oh, I almost forgot. I also hear that you got here from two other got help from two other adventures. It's only right that they get a share of the reward, is it not? Mira takes a large sack back in the tent and returns with two small pouches. Here's your 3,300 ducats. Find those other two adventures and I'll give them their share too. Now on your way, I'll keep you in mind next time the bandits cause trouble. Oh, did we actually get ducats from that? Neat! It's our first set of ducats. Which are... where is it? There's 4,040. So I guess it wasn't our first share of ducats, but yeah, 4,040 ducats. Nice. Guess we got some ducats somewhere. Also, this is the way they're doing um, quest windows now. Which I really like. Um, unfortunately, they did not go back and redo all the other ones. So old ones look like this. New ones look like this. It's kind of annoying a little bit, to be honest. So. But I can see where we need to go. And that is over here. Which I believe is to talk to Cecilia. And, um. Yasulte. Um, and maybe even, uh, the other girl whose name I don't remember. I don't think they said it. Mina. Mina. That's right. Her name is Mina. They did. They didn't actually say it, but, um, it did show up in the, uh, like over the character's head. So, there they are. Isolte and Cecilia. Unfortunately, these characters are unique to this quest and will never be seen again. Well, not entirely true. Choices that you make will gear, will earn you the ability to see one of these characters on a regular basis. But they don't have any kind of real dialogue or anything, so it's a little pointless. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this off here. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for links to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. And with that, I'll see you all next time. See you later. Oh wait. <laughs>